let's talk about CBD. But this time, I got the high doses. You gotta check these out. I got the 300 and I got the 500s. Let's go. What's up guys, it's your boy Big J coming back at you again from Vapeco TV where you watch, decide, and vape. And like I said earlier, I've got the big boy doses now. I've got CBD FX, but I've got it in 300 milligrams and they're brand new 500 milligrams. All right, this, this right here, right here, is for those of you um, that may be a little further along as far as, you know, you got some other issues that the 60 milligram and the 120 milligram and the gummy bears and the pills don't work for. All right, boom, we got you covered, all right? We didn't forget about you. We didn't forget about you. We got you covered with these, all right? So, without further ado, let's go ahead, check out the box, then we'll check out the bottle, then we'll go over um, why it's all legal and good and all that stuff, and then we're gonna taste test it, and then we'll go from there, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, all right? Maybe I'll give you a little testimonial of my own. So, let's check out the box. So, here it is, hashtag feel the difference, CBDFX 300 milligram, 10 mil bottle. Made in the USA, produced in an FDA registered facility to pharmaceutical standards. Very important that you buy stuff that is made in a pharmaceutical lab, okay, or an FDA approved pharmaceutical lab. This is going into your body, all right? The better it is, you might as well put the best stuff you possibly can in, all right? Registered facility to pharmaceutical standards, and it's approved by the FDA, I'm in. All right, we all know what kind of pricks the FDA can be. So, boom, I'm in. Let's roll it around. And again, it's so important that they put it on here a couple times. Producing an FDA registered facility to pharmaceutical standards. Okay, I it, listen. If that's what I did, I'd be I'd be loud and proud about it too. CBD FX hashtag feel the difference trademark. Boom. Ingredients: proprietary blend of CBD, propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin. It's just like your vape juice, except instead of flavoring, it's got CBD. So it's basically the same stuff. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA or not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease. Always consult with your physician before use, underage sale prohibited. Now, that little phrase right there, again, we're going to go over that because that's what I got the fact sheet for. CBD and CBD FX is naturally occurring in the industrial hemp plant and is legally imported and produced. Again, very important if you've heard, oh, I heard CBD is illegal. I'm about to smash that for you with a little fact sheet, but we'll get to that. CBD FX does not sell or distribute any products that are in violation of the U.S. Controlled Substances Act, the UC, or the U.S. CSA. Got that covered too in the fact sheet. Um, and then there's some trademark stuff here, made in Los Angeles. Flip it over. Shake before each use for best results. You do want to do that. Anytime you get CBD in a liquid form, you want to shake it because some separation will occur during shipping um, or just leaving it sit. Uh, some residue is natural, which is true. Uh, if you use a tank, um, you will get some residue in the tank. Again, not a big deal. Suggested use for a tank, one to two droppers full for a dripper, one and a half to one droppers full for a tank rich in essential omega-3 fatty acids and amino acids hashtag feel the difference and boom we're back around to the front now that being said here is the 500 all right you'll see it's a little bit different but you know, as far as the box goes other than the colors uh, this is 500 milligrams per 10 mil versus 300 milligrams per 10 mil but other than that you know it's just kind of flip-flop and boom it's basically the same so I won't go through the same, you know, go through the box again with you. I just wanted to show it to you. So we'll set it off to the side and pop a bottle out. All right, so here is your bottle, CBD FX, 300 milligram, 10 mil bottle. As you can see, this liquid is a little bit darker. If you want to go back and check the 60 and 120 milligram bottles, you'll see this has a little more, obviously a higher concentrate of CBD in it. So it is going to be a little bit darker. Roll it around. Ingredients. Obviously there's CBD, propylene glycol, and vegetable glycerin, and it is manufactured in Los Angeles, California. Roll it around. Shake before each use for best results. We already covered that. Um, and again, don't forget some residue is natural and it is made in the USA. And we're back around to the front. 
Now, let's go ahead and try it. So here's the bottle. Basically what you're gonna do, it's gonna come uh, child safety wrap in plastic. Just go around the top here until you find the perforation, which it is double perforated. So all you gotta do, is click it, boom. Strip comes off and then everything comes out. Grab a hold of it, shake it like they say. All right, the reason you wanna do that again is to get everything mixed back up like it's supposed to be. Boom. All right, so you're, as you can see, instead of being kind of see-through, now it's kind of like cloudy milky a little bit. Push down on the bottle and spin. And there you go. All right, kind of almost reminds me of like orange juice and that consistency. So let's try it. I just put a little bit under my tongue. Yep, that's CBD. Um, if you've never experienced CBD before, it does have a bit of an earthy flavor to it. It's the best way I can describe it. I don't really know how else to describe it uh, unless you've actually tried it. Uh, if you have a better word for it, drop it in the comments below. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, if flavor is a big thing for you, check out the website, check out my other videos. They do have gummy bears, which taste just like cherry. Um, or like a cherry fruit punch to me um, and they've got sugar in it which is nice check out the chill shots uh, lemonade awesome um, and then they also have uh, some hemp capsules which have absolutely no taste to them at all so if taste is gonna be one of those things where you're like oh god oh I don't like the taste that's fine there's other products CBD FX makes other products that you can try with still you know still has CBD in it so you're good you're good, we got you fam, we got you. Now, as promised, fact sheet. All right, so you may have heard that CBD is illegal. Well, it's not, and here's why. Non-psychoactive hemp was deemed legal by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in 2004. Okay, there's number one. Their hemp biomass, which is basically the hemp crop that they derive the CBD from, um, comes with an import certificate signed off on by Homeland Security. So if Homeland Security said it's cool, then we're cool. Um, they only use CBD derived from the stalks of European grown hemp plants. Very important. And we'll get to that in a minute. Um, product meet the, uh, the CBD FX products that contain CBD. Meet the standards of the 2014 Farm Bill's definition of compliant hemp which means it has to have less than 0.3% THC in it, okay? Now, because all of the stuff I've already mentioned, their products are exempt from the CSA and DEA's drug scheduling practices, which classify whole hemp extracts as Schedule One drugs. Why? Because extracts from the stalks of EU European, okay, European grown hemp are explicitly exempt from this scheduling practice. So, boom, legal, nothing to worry about. All right, plain and simple. They figured out how, CBDFX figured out how to get you a legal CBD. Awesome, right? That's what I'm saying. Now, you're probably asking, does it work? It's probably why you're even watching the video. Does it work, does it work, does it work? I can't say whether it, work, it will work for you. I'm not allowed to because the FDA says I'm not allowed to, all right? But what I can tell you is my own personal experiences with it. I use CBD for the following reasons. When I go to bed, my head doesn't shut off, all right? I am up for hours afterwards thinking about this, that, the other thing, flipping through social media, looking at my phone, etc. If you are one of those people, there's a strong chance it might work for you because it helps me that way. I am not a YouTube millionaire, um, so therefore I do have to have a day job at my day job. I work in a factory. I do a lot of walking across concrete floors I do a lot of climbing of ladders and all that other fun stuff So therefore when I come home my feet hurt my knees hurt my ankles hurt my back hurts everything hurts All right You reach a certain age when you go out into the real world and get a job and everything's not provided for you And then you realize with those jobs come aches and pains Boom enter CBD all right, takes the edge off the aches and pains. 
Um, for me, it's right up there with ibuprofen, and I don't even like taking that because that'll screw with your liver. Uh, it works for me. I don't go to the doctor. I hate the doctor. I don't like big pharma's pills and agendas being shoved down my throat and all that other crap. Um, so I prefer natural type stuff, all right? It's about as natural as you get. Um, you may see on some other videos out in YouTube land or on the internet of people saying, well, it didn't work for me. Okay. It might not have, okay? It doesn't work for everybody, okay? There is nothing that's 100% in this world other than death and taxes. Um, but keep in mind, those may also be the people that, well, I'm going to try some, took some. Oh, well, it didn't work immediately or it didn't work exactly the way I thought it was going to. So therefore it doesn't work and I'm gonna tell everybody it doesn't work. Well, that's not necessarily true, okay? If you go to the doctor, they give you a prescription, tell you to take one pill, you take one pill, it doesn't work. Do you automatically stop taking it? Or do you call the doctor and say, hey, the one pill's not working? If you do say that, what's he gonna say? Well, then take two, all right? Take it, you know, or they'll figure it out until you get to a point where whatever they prescribe you works. Okay, the right dosage. Same thing with this. Play with it, okay? You gotta figure out what dosage works for you. The suggested one dropper might not work for you. You might need two. One dropper, and you might be like, wow, I feel amazing. Let me try a half dropper. And a half dropper full might work for you, okay? Play with it, all right? It's all about you, okay? It's all about what works for you. Give it a chance. If you don't give it a chance, then you'll probably be one of the haters that's putting comments, you know, on the internet. So, if you want some, and I highly suggest you try some, like I said, this is the more high powered stuff. If you've got bigger issues going on, um, and again, unfortunately, I can't necessarily say what it will work for with the FDA, but do your own research, okay? Look at other people's um, testimonials about it okay and if you have some of the symptoms that they have and the 60 and 120 didn't really work for you try the 300 or the 500 all right yeah boom there's the 500 so just remember look for either the gold box or the purple box all right try it just get do yourself a favor and try it all right that's all I ask for you if you're worried about um, you know I said it helps me shut my mind off notice I didn't say it makes me drowsy I can take this in the morning and be 100% fine the rest of the day. All right, just puts me on a nice even keel and I'm good to go. So don't worry about any of that. So if you wanna try some, here's what I suggest you do. Check the description below. You're gonna find a link to both products directly on the website. Click the button a couple times, puts in your basket, pays for it, boom, puts it on your doorstep. So until next time, it's your boy Big J for Vape Code TV where you watch the side and vape and I am out.